It's wrong reader, it's the universe. I'm Ron Reader, and this is Ron Reader Digs the Universe, and tonight, racist hate for Beyonce's new song. In 1962, Ray Charles released what many critics believe is his greatest album, the genre crossing modern sounds in country and western music, and everybody loved it. Shit, man, everybody was totally blown away by it. Black people, white people, jazz fans, R&B fans, both country and western fans, people in bars, at parties, on the street. Nobody seemed to have a problem with a black musician not only working in, but also successfully redefining a music form traditionally dominated by white Southerners. And this was several years before the Civil Rights Act abolished Jim Crow, back when racists were straight up and in your face about their racism. Not like, not like today's racists who would rather kill you than admit what they actually are, but area bigoted peep back in the day with Ray Charles doing country. Maybe knowing that black people have to use the colored drinking fountain and ride in the back of the bus makes racists feel less threatened. I don't know. But that was then. This is now. Hip-hop and R&B artist Beyonce has a new country song out, Texas Hold'em, and it's good. It's, it's got a two-beat feel, banjo, acoustic guitar, people going woo-hoo. It's got a, a jazzy little coda making Bob Wills proud, I think, and, and it sort of channels the phrasing sensibility of Lyle Lovett's song, L.A. County. It's legit and worth repeated listenings. Check it out. But that's not what a few hundred commenters on that Baytown Gossip page I follow think. They all think the song is horrible. After enduring five or six posts proclaiming to the world how much Texas Hold'em sucks, I just responded and posted the song myself, praising it greatly, and you'd have thought I farted at a funeral. She's off key, said one commenter. No, she's not. She's too breathy, said another. No, she's not. It's not country, says yet another. Yes, it is. Still another tells me that it's just bad music. Well, whatever. The key thing tying all these criticisms together is their vagueness. It's, it's clear that all these people, all these, all these white people hate the song, but they're not really explaining why. We're supposed to just settle for it's bad music. Oh, really? It's just bad music? You gotta understand, the conservative response here was fierce in its intensity, like, like being exposed on a mountainside during the mother of all blizzards. All these people, outraged by the song, comment after comment after comment, and it's, it's really difficult for me to square the passion here with the fact that, after all, Texas Hold'em is just another pop song. These people feel like their territory has been invaded by an alien. You know, like, like what's, what's that black girl doing drinking out of the white fountain? Who does she think she is? That is, all these white people in, in Baytown hate the song because Beyonce is black. But it, it's not just Baytown. It's national. A lot of country radio stations across the nation are refusing to play it. Oh, Dukes of Hazard actor and professional yokel John Schneider called Beyonce a dog marking her territory for doing the song. Back of the bus, indeed. What's tremendously aggravating about all this is that not a single one of these white haters will admit to themselves or others that 
they despise the song because they feel threatened by black people. And if you don't want to have them scream and yell in your face, you just kind of have to let them get away with the lie. The fuckers. I'm Ron Reader. And this has been Ron Reader Digs the Universe. Join me, Ron Reader, again next week for another episode of Ron Reader Digs the Universe.